Hi, this is Brian. And this is Brian. With G5 Outdoors, giving your monthly product highlights for this month. And it's turkey season, people. We're here to show you a couple of G5 products that will help you be more successful out in the field for turkeys this year. Yep. So as you're getting geared up, you need to keep a few things in mind. So whether you're looking at getting a, a new bow, a new broadhead, quiver, or whatever it might be, there's a few things to take uh, into account that you're going to use this turkey season. First of all, start out with bows. You want something that's short, axle to axle, more compact for your running and gunning, or if you're out of a turkey blind right. or, sit, or sitting against a tree for that right. matter. Smooth poles, you know, it's, it's a little harder when you're sitting mm -hmm. on the ground or when you're cramped up in a blind to be able to pull a bow back. So lighter poundages, 50, 60 pounds are plenty to kill a turkey. Um, what we're here to show you is a couple bows, one from Quest and one from Prime. Yep, and this is our Quest Rogue we have. It's a 31 inch axle to axle model. Uh, just a hair over four pounds it is, so it's I mean, very lightweight, compact, easy to run and gun with, or set up in that turkey blind to give you enough room in that blind. Right. What I got is the Shift from Prime. It's a 30 inch axle to axle bow. It's very light, very compact. It helps for when you're sitting on the ground. Maybe you don't have the blind. Maybe you can't get it in the, in the spot you particularly want, so you're just getting in that, you know, that wood line. This bow will keep you very compact, so you're able to draw without very, very little movement. You know, turkeys have really good vision, so it helps to be able to be as compact and then tight in the spot as you can hunt. So. Yep, exactly. So once you figure out what bow you want, whether it's a that shorter axle axle or maybe something a little bit different you had in mind, then you need to figure out what broadhead you want to go with. Uh, we have a couple broadheads we want to show you. Of course, our first one is our Striker Mag. It's an inch and a half cut, 125 grain head. So and this has got the diameter, that, that hard impact hit you want to do on a turkey, or large cutting diameter as well. Right. Also we have the T3, which is a inch and a half mechanical broadhead. Turkeys have a lot of feathers, so you want something that's going to get in there and cut really quick and, and still have produce a big hole. So if it does get up and run, you still have to be able to track it. Um, our T3 is a three blade mechanical, it's an inch and a half big, it, no, no O-rings whatsoever, so it's really easy to work with while you're hunting in the blind. Um, any broadhead will work, you know, the Striker, the Montec, any of those will work great for a turkey, but the bigger the cut is usually better for a bird. Yep, exactly. And with, with turkeys, you want something that's that little bit larger diameter, like Brian said, going through feathers. You, it's a little bit harder impact or takes up a lot of energy, so you want something a little bit more uh, diameter. Or if you're going for headshots on turkeys, a Striker Mag is a perfect thing, so you got that diameter and it still flies uh, great for a, uh, for a broadhead that's a little bit larger diameter. Got it. So once you get your broadheads figured out, then we need to talk quivers. Uh, we have our new G5 headlock quiver. It's ultra compact, so it's easy to take off once you're in the blind. Just pop it right off, set it on the ground, or if you want to pop it on the bow, and you can put it in its up position or a little bit lower down the bow. You can totally adjust it around to what's easiest for you in the blind. Usually what you want to do is slide a quiver completely up, which this one's very capable of doing. It's just a matter of two screws on the back, slide it all the way up. What that helps with is when you're sitting on the ground that your, your bow is actually level with the ground and not your arrow, so you're not causing any big issues or dragging or making any noise while you're out mm -hmm. in the field. So. Yep. so pretty much whether you're looking for a new bow or a new quiver or a new broadhead, G5's got what you're looking for. So if you're looking for something a little bit more compact or a broadhead of a more cutting diameter, we got what you need. Pretty much G5 is there to help you out in the field, be as successful as you can with uh, this spring's turkey hunt. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next month, guys. Yep, and check us out online for these full range of products. G5 can help you be more successful in the field. Because we're designed to hunt. Because we're designed to hunt. That's a good one, actually. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, so so I give him the bow? Yeah. Be more successful in the turkey field. Yep, so as you're getting geared up, ready to go, or maybe you're buying a new bow, uh, do we need to start over? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about the turkey field? Just wait, wait. Right in. If I film you guys turkey hunting, I have to sit on the ground. Yeah, we wouldn't let you. We'd be in a blind, and you would be out on the ground outside somewhere. That is so mean. Well, if it's raining, we don't want to get wet. <laughs> Dude, that striker mag will take you out. <laughs> Dude, you'd be done. I wouldn't. I just sit there, put my foot on your neck, and hope for the best. <laughs>